Good morning, you guys. We're going to go ahead and take a look at a 2012 Prius V. Uh, this car has been sitting for a little while and the battery apparently is dead, so we're going to check it out, see what's going on with it and uh, get that corrected. We're also going to probably put on a trickle charger. Because the car is driven seldomly, we will uh, hook up the trickle charger and that way the owner of the car can go ahead and jump in it at any time when they finally want to drive it and it won't be dead. So uh, we'll get to it right away and I'll bring you back in a second. Okay you guys, so inside the back of the Prius here we have a couple panels that we need to remove to access the battery. Hopefully I won't jostle you around too much, but there's this cover right here and this one as well. And there you go. I am jostling you guys around a bit, but so be it. There is where the battery sits. And so what we need to do is just go ahead and unbolt the battery clip so we can hook up the trickle charger. But before we do that, we're going to go ahead and set up the battery charger, just bring it up to full charge, and then we'll hook up the trickle charger after that. Okay, you guys, so we're going to go ahead and just check the voltage right now to see how it is doing. I believe it's going to be fairly low right now. We are looking at approximately... So this battery is almost completely dead. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's only a quarter of a volt. So there's a strong likelihood that this battery is going to be completely dead, even though it's a fairly new battery. It's just run down all the way, so it's no longer carrying any voltage at all. So we'll hook up the battery charger and see if it comes back. Um, need to get it up to about 12.75 volts to 13.2 for it to be healthy. Uh, and then if the voltage drops off quickly, I did not bring a load tester, so I don't have a way to load test it today. But... If it'll hold and start the car at 12.75, then we should be good. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and hook up the battery charger right now. Here is the ground end of the clamp, and it's going on the negative of the battery. Of course, the positive on the positive side. All right, that's set to go, so let me go ahead and plug in the charger. Always hook up your battery first before you plug in your charger. And make sure the settings are correct. So we just have a standard uh, battery, 12 volts, and I'm starting it up at 2 amps. And this charger is a 10, or excuse me, a 2, 10, and 50 amp charger, basic charger, pretty cheap to buy. So I'm currently running it at 2 amps, but I'm going to kick it up to 10 amps. Then we can see about opening up the back hatch. Okay, so that gets the back hatch opened up. Basically, the door locks don't work until you have uh, power to it. Uh, fortunately, the car was left unlocked and we were able to get into it. So now what we need to do is just get this battery charged up and then we'll go ahead and move on to getting the trickle charger hooked into the system. But here's the battery and all you need to do if you need to replace the battery is unbolt the clamp here. There is a drain hose for the battery, so be careful about disconnecting that. And then you pull the battery out and you can replace the battery. So this is the location in the back uh, passenger corner of the car. Okay guys, we got the battery charger hooked up and it's been on there for about 10 minutes. And we're gonna put the foot on the brake, turn on the power. So we now have dash lights. Here we go. Looks like we got reverse finally. And the engine starts. All right, we finally got the reverse and the engine to start. So we'll throw it back into neutral, put on park. So let's go ahead and disconnect the battery charger. Okay, you guys, we're gonna go ahead and take a quick look at this trickle charger here. Um, just bought this to keep the battery maintained while it sits. So here's the instruction manual for it. Battery charger, and it comes with a couple of valet gator clips that you can hook up to a battery. And it's got the quick disconnect on it here. And this is the connector that we're gonna actually use. This one has the two, uh, you know, round uh, clips that you can put on the bolts on the battery cables itself. And of course it has the quick disconnect as well and a fuse link in the battery charger and then here's the charger and it's actually capable of either doing 12 or 6 volt and this you'll plug into a standard wall outlet and get the uh, battery charged and maintain the charge 
All right, well, I'm not sure how well I get you guys in here, but I'm gonna go ahead and take off the battery posts now. We did get the car running, um, but the battery needs to continue to charge up here. So we'll get these terminals disconnected and we'll get the trickle charger connected up. And hopefully that will maintain this battery system. And that gets the second one off. So I don't know if you guys can see that very well, but I'll try to get you down in here. And there's one of the posts there. And here is the other one there. And literally all we need to do is just hook up the connector there and put the bolt back on. So that's one side there. All right, that's the second one right there. So we will put this one on here as well. You guys will be able to see all that. Okay, you guys, so the full setup here, we have the wire connected to the positive terminal, red wire. We have the black wire connected to the negative terminal, black wire. This leads back with the fuse link right here. This leads back to a quick disconnect right here. So when you wanna drive the car, you just disconnect it here. That is running up through the passenger door. The door seal basically is enough to seal the, uh, to allow the door to shut without damaging the wire. Wire comes out of the car there. And currently what we have is it coming up here to an extension cord. So on the connector itself, um, you can see that the top left green light is on and that is for 12 volt, the lower left green light right there in the center of the picture here. That is for the six volt charging. This one is a fault detector if there's a fault. This one flashing is the 50% or less. So the battery is pretty low. It's this definitely discharged. We'll see if it comes back. Um, then when it goes solid, it's at 50% and above 50%, this one will start flashing. And then when it goes solid, it'll be fully charged. So that's basically the setup now. This will allow the char uh, car to remain charged and be drivable for the user when they want to drive it. They very seldom ever drive this car. So anyway, thanks for hanging out with me today, you guys. I appreciate your uh, time and thanks for joining me. Take care.